Rex here and I am really excited for today's episode. I had a very, very lucky find in this relic chest. Zalonia, the brand new rare death ancient. I have seen Kingdom Mates use Zalonia and she is very, very powerful. On defense, she's very helpful with the Curse Touch ability, preventing units from healing. Very nice. All right, this first spell, Transfusion, is amazing. Not only does it reduce damage by 35% for seven seconds, but it also takes all the units underneath the spell and redistributes their health points so that they all have an equal health bar after that. It makes it really hard to kill the army with that. Death Ward is also great. A 10% lifesteal ability and the units cannot die for about five seconds or so. Very, very powerful. She really, really can keep an army alive. Lost Hope is also a very good spell. It heals the units for about 70 points of damage. Now they'll lose a small percent of damage health per second for the remainder of the battle, but frankly, by the time you're able to cast that, um, it, it doesn't matter. The battle's just about over, and Paladins can overcome that anyway. So there's really no, no practical downside to that loss of um, health over time and the big boost in hit points that you get from that is very helpful. All right, so I, I already know that I'm gonna like Zaloni as an ancient, and so I'm gonna give her a, a healthy dose of Primus and get her leveled up, either level six or 11. At um, six, 11, 16 is when you get that mana increase for your starting mana. And so at level six, you have mana of one to start with, and that means that if you get just one true portal, you have enough to cast that first uh, spell, the transfusion spell. With ancient level 11, the starting mana jumps up to two, and if you can find just a couple free buildings, you can likewise get that first spell going. And once she can get her first spell, it's pretty much, uh, it, it's almost game over for the opposing base. She really is, is that strong. It's possible that they will um, adjust her and try to make her a little bit less powerful. And I know clan mates have different feelings on that. Understandable. All right, we are doing pretty well at Stronghold 7. We have enough rings now to upgrade to Stronghold 8 at any time. And I normally would probably jump around this point, but just to show the different features in Town Hall 7, we're going to continue. We need to get that bunker, so we just need a little bit of extra gold to do that. So let's hunt some gold and look at Zelonia in practice here. I've got a mana hunter to have some extra mana to, to highlight her spells here, but really you can get along just fine using just her uh, her first spell. In fact, the second spell was uh, was bugged for a while. Um, they've got that fixed, but that the first spell alone is, is really quite powerful. We have our mana hunters up top, our dragon at the bottom. Just getting lots of, uh, lots of mana here. In fact, really, really more than we can use at this point. We'll have no problem with casting whatever we need to for the rest of this attack. And let's start sending our troops in. We're going to come in from the uh, from the north here, drop all the troops in, and do the transfusion. So you see that purple effect there. And the health redistribution is immediate. The damage reduction lasts for um, about seven seconds, I think. And so that's a similar damage reduction as you might see, see with uh, Forvel or uh, Talison. But it's the health redistribution that really keeps your army alive. So if, you're, if your tanks are hurt, then the ones in the back can kind of basically lend their, their hit points up to the, uh, to the front line. Or if your wardens are about to die, then that redistribution will, will send the hit points that way from the uh, maulers or other tanks, which tend to have a lot of hit points. So very handy. We did not need to use anything else on that attack. And it replays that friends have shared. That's that's not uncommon. Alright, that was win streak five. We'll press on, but first we're gonna actually first let's 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 address our, our base a little bit. We uh, have now built the last building the bunker and if we look over our defense log we see quite a few victories in here which is pretty cool before we uh, modified a base which I showed in a recent video there was nothing but a string of defeats in there so this base has actually been holding up uh, fairly well 
uh, especially for a Stronghold 7, I kind of expect to be wrecked. So we're just going to go with a, a slight tweak or modification to what we already have instead of a, uh, a large change there. So basically we have a little half wall around that um, Sky Watcher on the, on the right side to prevent ground troops from pounding it too quickly. And of course the air units aren't going to want to uh, attack there. And we put the bunker up top. So now we have a design that I think will work for the rest of our Stronghold 7. And let's get back to Zelonia and see how she can do. Also note that we're using Ember Claw, which we picked up and highlighted in the last episode, using Ember Claw as the dragon and Zelonia as the ancient here. All right, not as much free mana on this base, so that's a pretty good design. It's got the catapult and the fire tower in the middle there. Some tough splash damage. Two fire towers, actually. All right, need to get our dragon away from that sky watcher. We'll take this last building over here, and we'll start to drop our troops down. Got them all in quickly. The mana Hunters will get us some extra mana here to get going, and once we get to the five, we'll be in good shape. And actually, we're not taking much damage, so I'm gonna hold off just a little bit so we can see that 10 in action. So they've got a little bit of lifesteal going on. You see the purple circles there, and units cannot die. They can go to zero hit points, and as soon as the spell wears off, they will die instantly if they don't get some health back. But the life steal is um, is helpful in uh, in keeping them from going to zero hit points anyway. All right, we're still in decent shape here. We'll distribute the hit points and just clean up the rest of the base here. No problems on that one. See what we get in the treasure chest, and then we'll take one or two more last attacks for today. Ah, Battlestone, excellent. We can get to uh, Street Gate that way. All right, the defenses are good, but that's that's just a mistake to leave all that free mana out on the left here. No matter what agent you're, you're, you're using, you're gonna you're gonna do well when you when you run across a base like this. So we'll just send in all the troops from that side since our mana hunters were getting shot down. Redistribute the health with the transfusion spell and reduce their damage 20, 35% for a couple seconds. And as they kill things, they get five more mana and we just recast. That works very, very well. When basically none of your troops are dying, and their damage is, is able to stay just as high halfway through the building, uh, through the village as it was at the start, and that's gonna be able to put a lot of hurt on uh, on the opposing village. So that's just a just a great spell. Be interesting to see if they uh, if they do adjust that or not. Okay, our last tack for today is heading for Street Gate. It's a stronghold six, so it shouldn't be too bad for us. Now that um, freeze tower in the middle, that is the one thing that at higher levels um, is the only thing really that can uh, that can trip up Zelonia. Because if the troops are frozen and not moving, then they're not gaining mana, and you can't continue to spam that first spell. So you'll even see people with Primus Conduits or double Primus Conduits using multiple Freeze Towers in an effort to, uh, to slow down Zelonia. So if you're using her as an Ancient, that's just one thing to keep in mind, is avoid the Freeze Towers when you can, or have an answer to how you're going to deal with them if you do have to run into them. Now we use the, um, the second spell there, so that they wouldn't die under the, uh, the freeze attack. A little extra damage for an Ember Claw sweeping over, and there we go. All right, so that was the last streak and the last attack. Let me know what you think, Ozoni. Thanks for watching.